as I'm writing this character, hey, this could be the one for Brad. This could work out really, this could work, he could be terrific in this. So then I started secretly hoping that that would be the case until by the end of it, I was like, oh, okay, it's now, it's now perfect for Brad. What happens if he doesn't do it? And, you know, not only, um, not only am I giving it to you know the most sought after movie star in the world, not, uh, it's like I can't be built around his schedule. I got to go right now. All right, if we're going to do it. So uh, I, as, as everyone said, sometimes the movie gods uh, frown on you, and sometimes they smile. And in this case, they smiled, and it just it all worked out to a glorious uh, to an inglorious effect. <laughs> My name is Lieutenant Aldo Ray, and I need me eight soldiers. We're going to be dropped into France, dressed as civilians. We're going to be doing one thing, one thing only. Killing Nazis. I mean, people are speculating a lot. Well, is it a fantasy? Is it the fairy tale? Is it, uh, um, you know, what's the deal? Where I'm coming from in this regards is basically my characters change the course of the war. Now, that didn't happen in real life because my characters didn't exist. However, if my characters had have existed, the things that happened in this movie are plausible. They could have happened. Members of the National Socialist Party conquered Europe through murder, torture, intimidation, and terror. And that's exactly what we're going to do to them. We will be cruel to the German. And through our cruelty, they will know who we are. They will find the evidence of our cruelty in the disemboweled, dismembered, and disfigured bodies their brothers we leave behind us. And the German will not be able to help themselves from imagining the cruelty their brothers endured at our hands, and our boot heels, and the edge of our knives. It's not, it's not about being historical fact. I'm just following the, the, the adventures of my characters and not holding to anything else because my characters have the ability to change their destiny. They have the ability to go wherever they go. And in this case, that's where it went. I have a big section of a, when I started writing the script eight years ago, I had a big, uh, 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 I, I was following another story and I decided to, to not tell that story this time because I had, because uh, uh, um, it was just too big. And uh, so I followed the Melanie story. I saw the Shoshana story. I followed the other other avenues. But I really love the story that I had, you know, that like almost like half of it is written. I really love that story as well. So if the film is a hit, it is conceivable that I could do a prequel that would take place just a little bit earlier than when this story takes place. Nancy ain't got no humanity. They need to be destroyed. Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scalps. And I want my scalps. Nine, 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 nine. Sound good? Yes, sir!